An artist is the last person you want to ask about the meaning of their work, because they just do it. <laughs> you know, once she's done with it, it's ours. We can do what we want with it, including ignore it. Art that's not well made gets ignored. Art that is well made, even if you don't understand it, piques the curiosity. We are really fortunate we recruited Frank Gokey, who's a national treasure on the national and international scene of landscape photographers. He is two-time Guggenheim winner. What's amazing is to go to the Metropolitan in New York or to go in the Museum of Modern Art and see Frank Gokey's work hanging on exhibit there. I chose to come to U of A, mainly because Frank Gokey is teaching here. Teaching at the University of Arizona is quite a privilege. All you can do as a teacher and a mentor is get somebody started because it's a lifetime vocation to realize what's in you. Even though he's described as a landscape photographer, I don't think he's just making pretty pictures of the landscape. There's a lot of meaning in each of the images. One of the things that art does is to give a shape to the kinds of understandings that can't be expressed in rational language. He uses it more as a language, which is the way I work too. I have been photographing a lot in my home country, Lebanon, so I'm not interested in just making pretty pictures or making conceptual work that illustrates an idea. It's somewhere in between. Um, and I describe it as poetic. I use each picture as almost a word in a sentence. There is a method behind the work, but it's not over-calculated to the point of it becoming formulaic and predictable and boring. So there's that beautiful balance between being spontaneous yet thoughtful and paying attention. To be able to share something you love that they would have had no way of knowing about without the existence of this university and of the School of Art and, in my case, photography. I mean, that's a wonderful thing. Wait a minute, I missed a joke. I hate that. No, we're allowing Katie for not knowing Well, you know, it could be a bigger towel. Oh,